Hello everyone, my name is Cene Anners, and today we're playing some Team Deathmatch on Castle. So I have a pretty fun match for you guys today. Um, I think somebody may have ordered a pizza. <laughs> and uh, for all of you guys who don't know what I'm talking about, um, everyone calls this gun the pizza gun. And uh, it definitely makes sense because uh, there's definitely a pizza pie resting atop this gun. And uh, <laughs> instead of uh, pepperonis and sausage, you're getting a uh, recoil and... Uh, crappy rate of fire and I, I'm convinced I think that <laughs> I think a lot of you just want me to fail and uh, the suggestions you guys are giving me are kind of extremely ridiculous and uh, <laughs> I'll do my best to uh, satisfy your need for my death but I uh, thought I'd go ahead and set this up and give it a shot and I've used it before but like I said it's a very bad gun because I think that when you're competing against all the other guns in this game it's very difficult to compete against uh, submachine guns or snipers or what have you and it's much more difficult to get a good score with a gun like this and it's fun it's 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 kind of a challenge but I think that if you're seriously looking into killing lots of people this is not the tool to do so and I would totally stay away from this gun and I, it's a it's it's totally your call I mean I know a lot of people don't agree with, you know, what I think about. I mean, I don't think that it's too big of a surprise that the trench gun or the um, M1 Grand are really awful guns, and those are probably the two guns that, no matter how much I try, I mean, I can't, I can't get the type of scores I'd like, and uh, it's frustrating, but, I mean, the only thing you can really do is just stay away. <laughs> and that would be my recommendation for a lot of these guns, and uh, I... I don't think there's much to prove when it comes to using these guns. Nobody's gonna think you're a uh, you're a better Call of Duty player by strapping on the uh, M1 Grand. They're just gonna shoot you and laugh, <laughs> and you will look like a fool. And uh, hopefully, I can save you from the embarrassment of having a 12-year-old call you a scrub. <laughs> and uh, I think that uh, very often I get called out quite a bit, and a lot of times I don't deserve it. I think people tend to see my kill-death ratio or any of my stats and they tend to think it's their personal personal duty to to smash me <laughs> and uh, scream something like get good or poop on you scrub or <laughs> basically a lot of people like to be pretty negative and or angry and uh, I don't think it really has much effect on me I kinda just uh, laugh to myself and I move on and just know, guys, if somebody is harassing you on the internet, um, it's probably because they're compensating for their lack of whatever, and uh, you can basically just laugh in their face, and that uh, <laughs> that makes them pretty angry, and uh, they make it their personal mission to uh, prove to you and or themselves that they're not as stupid and or pathetic as they appear to be. <laughs> and I know you guys are probably all aware of this, and most of you probably agree with me, and I think it just helps to vocalize it and, and reassure you guys that anybody uh, wishing poorly of you is probably a douche. <laughs> and uh, don't worry about it. And in the same sense that if someone kills you with an MP40 over and over again, just shrug your shoulders and say, hey, there's always Modern Warfare 2, and I shan't not worry uh, about all this uh, <laughs> juggernaut and round drum because it will be over shortly. And uh, for all you guys who want to continue to see World of War games, uh, do not worry. I have a ton of games that I haven't uploaded. And uh, when I say a ton of games, I'm being modest. Um, this game has made me very obsessive compulsive <laughs> in that when I get a good match or a good game, I tend to try to one-up myself. And it, it becomes a situation where I'm constantly trying to do better uh, than the previous match. And... I have a ton of good games, a lot didn't uh, get uploaded, but I probably won't play too much World of War in the future, but I will be uploading games if you guys still want to see them, because I got a ton of them. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking me what a normal game is like for me, and uh, my kill-death ratio is a good indication of how I do. I, I normally don't do games where I have like a 10 to 1 kill-death ratio. I know a lot of my videos are easily 30 plus kills and not too many deaths, and that's not normal for me. Those are those are good games, and I upload those because they have good strategy, and obviously the things that I do in those matches are, um, you know, I'm making smart decisions, so that's why I think that they're good to showcase. And I am no Superman, and I am no Call of Duty abnormality. I'm uh, definitely human, <laughs> and I know a lot of you guys are, are very supportive, and you're 
uh, very encouraging, and I just want you guys to know that I am definitely no Call of Duty god, and uh, <laughs> I don't take myself too seriously, and I, I would hope that you guys wouldn't take me too seriously. And uh, just, yeah, guys, have have fun watching my videos, and, uh, and just enjoy yourselves, and uh, hopefully uh, you guys can get some good tips and insight, and I am definitely looking forward to Modern Warfare 2, and I've been watching a lot of the leaked footage on the internet, and it looks awesome. I'm looking forward to that 25 kill streak. I'm gonna get me some nukes <laughs> and uh, blow everyone up. I think that should be <laughs> quite a fun experience. I'm very much looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, guys, um, I guess uh, game's about over. So uh, don't forget to rate and comment. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.